When people think of the jungle, visitors, tourists, and yes, even biologists, they often think of one particular group, the insects. insects here are harmless, but there are a few annoying exceptions. The large fly order includes many important dispersers and pollinators, but that's little consolation when you have a large horsefly biting into your flesh. Like many other species of fly, the female requires a blood meal for her eggs, but that's nothing a quick slap can't fix. And the same solution applies to a much more specialised group of flies, the mosquitoes. They can occur in large numbers and be very annoying in some parts of the lowlands, but lucky for us, in the Australian jungle we lack the malaria that's common in other rainforests. But many different flies also help in recycling the rainforest. They are attracted to dead animals, laying their eggs and hatching their larvae inside the corpse to feed and break it down. This means you have to be very careful to waste in the rainforest. If you leave food or a sweaty, smelly backpack on the rainforest floor for too long, you may end up finding your bag crawling with maggots. But no doubt the most common annoyance of the rainforest would have to be the widespread weaver ants. They stitch together large nests out of leaves and when these are disturbed by an accidental passerby, or deliberately shaken by me, they come out to defend their home vigorously. They grab your skin with pincers, then flip their backside over to inject you with a squirt of acid. That's only a quick sting, quickly gone, and you can always bite them back, as they're quite delicious. And then there's another group of creepy crawlies that some people find hard to stomach. Spiders are a common component of the rainforest here, and they're present in a dazzling variety. golden orb-web spiders and they call them golden orb-web spiders not so much because of the the bright yellow color on the legs there but more because of the web at the right angle you can really see the threads are a beautiful golden color they have one of the most extreme examples of sexual dimorphism of any animal in the world that's the female so she's sort of about as big as my hand but the males are about this small and they often live in the same web Unfortunately for explorers of the rainforest here, the webs are often built at face level on tracks. This is not meant to catch us of course, but their insect prey, which they quickly subdue with their venom. A different type of silk is then produced to wrap up the prey. She can then return to the meal and consume it at her leisure. These spiders are a threat to insects, but not to us giant humans. They rarely bite and are not deadly. They are, and should be, more scared of us than we are of them. Yeah.